हेलो वेलकम डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह दिस साइड टुडे इन यूनिट थर्टी वन पीजेंट्स मोमेंट लेट अस स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर विद टॉपिक अमर्जिंग अगेरियन सोशल स्ट्रक्चर एंड पीजेंट्स मोमेंट द अगेरियन सोसाइटी ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट बंगाल हैव अंडर गोन अ फिनोमिनल चेंज सिंस द प्रोलिफ्रेशन ऑफ द रेडिकल पीजेंट मोमेंट both the states have initiated the elaborated land reform programs affecting the agrarian social structure therein however the story of implementation of land reform laws has not been the same in ap and west bengal wp ap has achieved a very low rate of success in acquiring and distributing surplus less wasted lands among the ruler poor west bengal however has achieved a phenomenal success in this regard in andhra till july 1992 only 0.729 million acre of land was declared surplus wasted of which 0.549 million acre was taken possession of and 0.504 million acre distributed among beneficiaries in west bengal 1.229 million acre of land was declared surplus wasted of which 1.201 million acre was taken possession of and 0.936 million acre distributed A recent report shows that government of West Bengal had till September 2000 distributed 1.045 million acre of land among 2.544 million beneficiaries. During this period the names of 1.495 million share croppers were recorded involving an area of 1. 105 million acres of land government of west bengal in 2002 this process of implementation of the land reforms has diversely affected the patterns of land holding and the agrarian relation prevailing in andhra pradesh and west bengal over the years the percentage of the marginal cultivators has increased in both the state however in west bengal the percentage increase of the marginal cultivators has been phenomenal with 23.84% and there has been a steady decline of all other categories all over the years including the small cultivators On the other hand the emergence of the marginal cultivators have not been that sharp in AP with only 13.15%. It is significant that marginal holding has been the mode of land ownership in West Bengal for the vast majority of the land owning household. That more than 40% of the marginal cultivators possess land of below 0.20 hectare size all the small and the marginal cultivators are putting together represent a total of 70% of the land owning household in west bengal for andhra pradesh they represent around 44% of the land owning household however the average size of the land ownership is very low in west bengal that is only 0.46 hectare while for the ap this is 0.78 hectare the landless and the semi landless constitute as high as 53.4% of the ruler household in west bengal and around 46 in andhra pradesh significantly in spite of the land reform their proportion in the ruler society is progressively increasing as against this broad scenario peasant movement have acquired new dimensions in these states over the years the left parties have emerged to be the proud owners of the historical heritage of radical peasant movement 
as issue to issues were not resolved even after the proliferation of the radical movement poor peasant of west bengal and andhra pradesh was continuously mobilized on the issue of land reforms and rural development especially by the communist in west bengal mobilization of the peasantry got a momentum since the united Fr- left front government had came into power in 1977 indeed regular mobilization of the peasant has since been made to be a vehicle for the implementation of the land reform and rural development schemes in andhra pradesh on the other hand the communist who are in opposition and the radical outfit of the communist mob mobilize the peasant on a regular basis on several issues some of the emerging features of the agrarian social structure are mobilization of the peasants in three villages with a background radical movements are described below the rural society of andhra pradesh especially of the telangana region has been experiencing constant mobilization of the peasants it has been experienced the vehement outburst of the celebrated Tel- telangana movement this area has a high concentration of dual caste and other backward caste household in the category of peer po- poor peasants it is only partially agriculturally developed and land reform has been implemented only to a limited extent indeed land reforms has not been able to alter the pre-existing agrarian arrangement as the old landlords who are mostly the absentee landlords now control a vast part of the village lands through their relatives living in the neighboring areas in this backdrop landless and marginal cultivators who are also associated with various non agricultural activities form the bulk of the peasantry though the alternative economic activities have been an inseparable parts of livelihood security of the peasantry here there have not widened the process of economic mobility among them thus the peasantry of this village has remained more or less economically homogeneous in recent years this village has been experiencing the extensive and frequent mobilization of the poor peasantry under the auspices of the various naxalite group and other political parties the peasants are thus exposed to various categories of political activities organized by andhra pradesh civil liberties committee organization of the protection of democratic rights citizen forum thandam deba militant organization of dual tribe madiga reservation of potat samiti mrps and organization of dual caste righto seva samiti jela sadhana samiti demanding irrigation facility for the peasants cpi ml peoples war and various other nexlist outfits beside the regular political parties Telugu Desham Party National Congress Bharatiya Janata Party Communist Party of India and the Telangana Rashtriya Samiti TRS various NGOs are also active in this area Identification and distribution of surplus wasted lands speedy and impartial implementation of the development schemes employment generation program irrigation health road school etc facilities harassment of the villagers by the police suicide by the farmers reservation for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes compensation to the rape victim prohibition 
regional autonomy etc have been the major issues for the mobilization of the peasantry of this area mobilization is by and large institutionalized even though pwg plays a crucial role in their mobilization significantly wider economic and political processes are at times explained to the cause of localized problems of the peasantry here for example poverty illiteracy and unemployment etc of these peasants are explained in term of the telugu domination over the telangana the peasants are however very secretive about their political identity and frequently use political passivity as a weapon for their political action with the organizational support from the outside leadership has been generated from within whereby the peasants have been trained to articulate and to talk to various societal issues politically in the process of mobilization of the peasantry the historical categories of caste gender regional ethnically etc have acquired several new meanings and significance here we want to close this lecture thanks for listening